Alright, so I just bought this today, and I think this is worth um, doing my own little video now. I'm sure we'll get comparisons later on. Um, but this is Alberta Premium. This is a cast strength drive from Canada, obviously from Alberta. Um, and the big glaring thing is this right here. This is 132 proof. Um, now, Canadian Rise, every one of them that I've had, I've liked. Um, so a cast strength version of one, I have high hopes. Now, one interesting little thing. It's a screw top. I would have expected at $70 in Pennsylvania that it was a cork. That's not necessarily even a complaint. That's just uh, an observation. That kind of took me by surprise. I did not expect uh, a screw top. But this is about the whiskey. So let's get to the whiskey. Mmm. Pretty hot nose, citrus, maybe mm. citrus, uh, a little allspice. It it doesn't smell like a rye like I'd expect it to. Again the. The citrus is really standing out. I'm almost getting a little bit of like, like a tea leaf. Like, I don't know, what, I can't place what kind of tea it is. I don't know tea. But that's kind of what it feels like. That's, it has a very pleasant nose. It smelled hot at first, it airs out very quickly. Hmm. All right. Let's give it a try. Now, I did a little research just to see what the deal with this was. It's aged at least five years, and it's 100% rye. Um, so, I don't have a lot of 100% rye. The only one that I think I have that I know is 100% is the Whistle Pig Piggyback, which ironically is mostly sourced from Canada. So, let's just give her a try. Ooh, okay. Very citrusy. I'm getting those dill notes, um, which I really like. It has a heat to it. It's not overbearing. In fact, it has a really, really nice warmth all the way through. Um, wow, it lingers too. It gets stronger. A um, little bit of spice. It's mostly, it's, it's a very um, citrusy, um, dill-forward rye, which doesn't surprise me having tried the piggyback. Um, and honestly, makes me very happy because it's reminiscent of my favorite readily available rye, which is the George Dickel. Um, the pickle notes are not that obvious in this one. They're there, and it's very noticeable, but it's not on the forefront. I get a lot of, like orange and lemon like those kinds of citrusy flavors almost like um oh this is gonna this is going to uh i don't know how many people are gonna get this tasting note um it tastes like etrog um it, it that's like distinctly the type of citrus i'm getting aside from the orange and definitely is like like an orange zest almost like the flavor of an orange bitter without the bitterness it's very very rich it's very full um but the citrus makes almost makes it feel sweeter even though it's not a sweet flavor it just gives it that what's the word um bright i would go with bright um there's not a lot of any other sort of rye spice it's all dill and it's all citrus to me now I did I'm gonna try this again because I did get a little something extra that was interesting in the very beginning there's a sweet note at the very beginning that very quickly goes away or probably just gets overpowered by the rest of it I want to say it's like raw honey or Maybe a light caramel. 
Um, which would make sense. I mean, it was aged at least five years, so you get some of the barrel. Um, that's where sometimes that sweetness is coming from when you are dealing with a whiskey like this. Uh, especially in its raw form like this. It's a lot of raw, complex flavor. This doesn't taste like anything I've ever had. It has notes of things I've had, but I haven't had a very citrusy rye. Um, and it's very pronounced and it's very balanced because I can pick out all these individual things without a lot of thought. Normally I have to taste it a couple times to really start picking out what I'm getting. It's It all stands out here and it's delicious. I mean, this was like, people have been raving about this and I see why. Um, I would I would buy this again. This is really really good. Um, so I don't know if I pay a lot more than like seventy is like this would be my nice sipping bottle. Um, that being said, that's a huge compliment. It's one of those bottles that I don't want to disappear, partially because I don't want to dump the money on a bottle like this um, often, but just because it's good enough for me to want to enjoy it and want it to last um if you can find this and you're into rise especially if you like stuff like the whistle pig give this a try because you will like it whistle pig is the closest equivalent i can excuse me i can think of to this which does make sense because whistle pig if it's not made in vermont they also source from um canada and blend from both places so it makes a lot of sense that this is sort of reminiscent although we're talking a very different region of canada here um, but the, the Canadian, the, the style of Canadian rye and the way it's sort of made, this is, um, is very reminiscent. Like, it's, it makes sense comparing to something like Piggyback, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, if you can find it, give it a try. If you can find it under, under maybe 80, 85 bucks, I paid 70, like I said. And again, I'd pay it again, so... Yeah, that's uh that's Alberta Premium.